guys. Um, I have a couple little things I wanted to share with you real quick. I was out doing some things this afternoon. I had to get fitted for a bridesmaid's dress and stuff. So the boys and I went for an adventure. Um, and while we were out, I had something to return at Michael's. And, of course, I can never return something without buying something. And then we went to Joanne's, and I'm super excited about what I found at Joanne's. So I'm going to share what I found. Um, first was at Michael's. I mean, this was no big deal. One of their little Studio G pens. I found one of their Halloween stamps. I love this. I think this would go great um, with my new Creepy Creatures behind the little haunted house or something. I think that that would look well, I think it's proportion enough that it'll work good together. So I had to grab that. And then every time I have gone, they have always been out of stock of this one paper pad. And it is the Maggie Holmes crepe paper. I love this. I adore it. I have been wanting it. Um, sorry, my little clip got in the way. Um, but like I said, every time I have gone... They have just been totally out of it. And they had two. I love this. Look at this vellum. Love it. Um, they had two left. And I grabbed one. They weren't on sale. There's a vellum there too. Um, but I did have a Joann's 50% off coupon. So it was only $9.99. So um, there's a vellum too. I love this. So I thought for $9.99 why not? I mean, this is awesome. And I love those cameras. Carol, one happy crafty chick, got me hooked on this camera page the instant I saw her do a layout with it. So thank you, Carol, for being an enabler. Um, but yeah, love that. Then, that was it from jo er, from Michael's. Joanne's I went because, number one, I needed to get some replacement blades for my Fiskars. Um, so nothing really too exciting with that. Um, second was um, their cardstock. I am in love with this cardstock. If you have not tried it, it is worth the $2.50 to give it a shot. I'm used to using um, Walmart's white cardstock. Um, what's it called? God, you guys are probably yelling at this screen. I, I can't remember. It's their 100-pound cardstock, Georgia Pacific. That's it. And it's okay. Don't get me wrong. Um, I bought this when it was on sale about two weeks ago or whatever. whatever. Um, it is so thick, so nice, so heavy-duty. It's so much better than that. It's a lot heavier than the Georgia Pacific. So you get 25 sheets. Um, the regular price is $3.99, but if you use a 30 or a 50% off coupon, you know, you're only looking at like 2 or $2.25 or something like that plus tax. So if you're looking for a really good, sturdy card base, I would highly suggest taking a look at this. It does say 110 pound extra thick heavy weight, um, and it does only come in white. They have no other colors. Um in this extra heavy weight. And there's a lot of the packages that look like that. So make sure that when you look at it, it's that it says that 110 extra thick heavy weight. Love it. Um, I have been, I also eyed these up the last time and I decided not to get them because they weren't included in the promo. However, this time they are. Um, they were on sale for $9.99. This is the Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm from American Crafts. I sure most of you have already seen this but I adore this I have been wanting the six by six but why pay six dollars for a six by six when you can get the whole giant 12 by 12 for 9.99 so it even has the cards here for the journaling for the for albums so I grabbed that one um American I know this is crepe paper they have crepe paper um by crepe paper this is party day um, this was also $9.99, and I was kind of concerned. I thought that it might be too party-ish at first, but then after I flipped through it a couple times, I was like, no way, I have to have it. I love that pattern. The colors in this, I am just in love with. Like, look at this, look how cute. Like, some of it has, like, happy birthday to you or eat cake, but there's a lot of it that you can get away, you know, with using for everything. I love all the elements in this one. 
um, music notes. I really like that one. I like these because you can cut out each one of these if you want to use it just for a tag for something. This is really cute too. So, there's a quick, and how cute is this? And even if it, I mean, it says happy birthday across here, happy birthday to you. But even if you just wanted to clip them out and spell something with the letters there either, why not? For $9.99, absolutely, I had to have it. Like I said, well, I pay $5.99 for a 6x6, six six, so we can have that. Um, their 6x6s six were also 40% off, so $5.99 minus 40%, so that's like $2.40 off. So, quick math. $3.99, $3.59. Um, I found a Studio Calico Darling Deer. Um, this is a, not a new, new, new one, so I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this one. But for, you know, $3 and change, of course I had to have it. I thought I would be stupid not to. <laughs> um, I did pick up thickers. I really like this yellow glitter. This is Nikki Ricky from American Crafts. Um, I swear to you, I can never find these at my Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I gave them one more chance and they blew it. So I'm kind of over it. Um, then I was headed out the, well, I found some things going out the door that I had to have. One is this small wood mount block for a fence gate. Also thinking in line with my, um, haunted house. I think that would be kind of cool to mix that in as a fence. So I thought that was cute. Use my stamp on the jig and line it up pretty good. I think that'll work well. Then they also had, I'm a washi fiend. I think I need a help group for washi tape. There's purple with black polka dots. And then this one I just had to have because it says Halloween. And pumpkins, those were in the dollar bin. Okay, so here's my excitement find for Joanne's. You ready? I don't know if these have been out for a while. Whoops went across my room. Um, I was totally stoked when I saw them. They were in the clearance bin, so they weren't locked behind the cage. They're cell binders, nest abilities. Um, they were thrown out. This one is the leafy squares. You get four dies. There's what it looks like. They were thrown in the clearance bins that are in the middle of our aisles, so they weren't locked up, and they were on clearance for five ninety seven. So I was thrilled. I have been looking for something different. Um, I use my ovals and lacy ovals together a lot, and I use my circles and scallop circles together a lot. But I think I only have two other labels, like la label 17 and one other one like that. I don't remember all the numbers. But that's it. And I'm kind of getting bored using the same ones over and over and over again. So how awesome is this? Falls right around the corner. Leaves. Perfect. $5.97 thrown in the clearance bin. The next one, um, it is also four pieces. Sorry, I just bought my camera. Um, it is the heart squares. Uh, la, la, la. There's the back of that one. Same price. $5.97. Valentine's Day is going to be here before you know it. Heck, it seemed like 4th of July was just yesterday. So, whatever. And then, but hearts, you can do anything with hearts. Um, then I found this one, and this one is the Butterfly Circles. It's a four-piece also. That's what that one looks like. It was marked $14.97, and I thought, you know what, I really like this one, and I want something else round other than what I have. So I took it up to the register, and I asked the girl nicely. I said, can you please scan this and tell me what it comes up, if it's actually coming up $14.97 or if it comes up $5.97 like the other ones? She scanned it, and she says, you know what, it's actually coming up $5.97 like the other ones. So if you are looking for spellbinders and would like some change... Here are three sets that I can tell you that I just bought today from mine for $5.97 each if you're looking for something nice and decorative and fun and different. Um, 
Like I said, though, they were not locked behind the cage. Maybe some of them do. Mine didn't. Mine just had the clearance sticker stone on them and thrown into the bins. There were, let me think. I think there, there was one other one that I, that I can remember. Um, it was the iron gate or iron hooks or iron. Oh, shoot. It had, it was only four or five pieces and it was different things. It reminded me a lot of Tim Holtz, like the iron things where you can hang flowers and pots from, like there was some that were angles like this and it looked like ironwork with leaves. And then it was, it would be something that you would have to hang something from. And then there was another one that was a post that had a bottom with a tall thing on it. Then there was an arm that came off that would, something would hang off of that. And it was like four or five different shapes of those arms but there was nothing in it to hang on it. So I was like, what in the world would I have at home that I could hang on these things so that it wouldn't be just the iron, whatever it was called. So I left that one there. It was also $5.97, but I was so excited to find these. I had to share this with you so fast. So um, that is it. That's all I have. Um, I am not going to be able to pull the winner for my challenge giveaway until tomorrow, which is Saturday. So my hubby is already on his way home. I got dinner that has to get pulled off the stove. So I'm sorry I didn't get it done today, but it will be posted up tomorrow. Um, it'll be posted up before dinner time tomorrow, most likely in the morning, early afternoon, because that's whenever I get up and drink my coffee before my kids get up. So maybe I'll do it while they're still sleeping in the morning. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you for the next one. Bye, guys.